Hello and welcome to this session where Tom and I are going to be discussing remote invigilation versus in-centre exams. We're going to start with some of the factors you might want to consider when choosing between the two. We're then going to talk about the spare exam that's available one week after the actual exam week. And then we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. That is, what happens if there's a big problem? For example, what happened in December 22? And then we're going to finish off by telling you what we would do. What would be our own personal choice? But what I want you to bear in mind is that not everybody has a choice. Some countries, you have to do the exam remotely. Some countries, you have to do the exam in center. And this video is aimed at you if you have a choice. Okay. So we're going to start with remote invigilation. Why might you want to go for that? What factors would push you down that route? The first one for me is not having to travel. Now, if you live a long way from an exam center, then being able to sit at home is a huge advantage to you. I also think if you're sitting at home, you're in your own environment. You set the temperature for the room. You're sitting on your comfortable chair. You feel good. You're in control. Yeah, and there's going to be less distraction. Hopefully, if you can send the dog and the family out for the day, you can have less distractions, can't you? Um, and on that point about being in control of it, it's a bit like with sports teams, right? When sports teams play at home, they tend to win more often. Why is that? You know, they're still the same team, but it's because they're more comfortable in their home surroundings. When you're more comfortable, you tend to perform a little bit better, which is why sports teams tend to win at home. If you sit the exam at home where you're in control of the environment, then you may well perform slightly better. Let's talk about the in-centre exams, because there clearly are some very strong advantages for sitting it in-centre. In the build-up to the exam, I suppose you really want to be focused on the contents of the exam and your revision rather than having to set up all the IT. If you're involved in sitting an exam remotely, you've got a responsibility for that setup process, which simply doesn't exist if you're rocking up to an exam center. Yeah, someone else is dealing with all that. And actually on that same point, if there are issues on the day of the exam, tech issues, and these happen whether it's remote or in center. But if you're in center, someone else is going to be dealing with those problems. It doesn't mean they're necessarily going to fix them, but they're the ones that are stressing about sorting out the problem rather than you stressing about them, that problem, if you're at home and trying to get through on the chat or phoning and really struggling. So if there's problems on the day, someone else is going to try and sort them out, which I think is helpful. Now, my third point is a, is a small one, but potentially important, scrap paper. If you're sitting an exam um, in an exam centre, um, you're able to use scrap paper and maybe you're into mind maps. Maybe that helps you. But if you're sitting in an exam at home remotely, you are not allowed to have any paper in the room whatsoever. Yeah, they'll assume you're cheating if you've got paper around. You, might, yeah. you probably aren't, but they won't allow you to have it. Yeah. So the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is when there are problems with the exam centers or with the uh, remote exams, they tend to occur on a Monday, don't they, Ben? Yeah, which is really annoying because Mondays is when the audit exam is sat. You know, AAA, that's my paper. And whenever there's big problems, it's, it's always the Monday because that's the first day of the exam week. And so all the audit students, AA and AAA, are the ones who get really impacted. And they sort out those problems. But that's it. Yeah. To, give, to give credit to the ACCA, they do throw resources at it where the particular problem arises. So um, it does get better during the week as a rule. Yeah. So by the time they sit your exam, SBR, are you on the <laughs> third? When are you? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. So yeah, by, by the, the time best you, day to sit an exam. Well, clearly, because by that time, they've sorted out all of the issues <laughs> in terms of many problems. Um, but on that point of issues, um, the spare exam that can be sat one week later, right? And I think this is another thing we can credit to ACCA. They do. They they thought about when they brought in remote invigilation, 
they thought about it. There's going to be problems. People are going to have tech issues. They brought in this spare exam that you can sit one week later as a backup for if there's problems. But what we thought we'd do is share kind of how that's actually worked over the last year or so that the spare exam has been available. And unfortunately, not everyone's been able to sit it. So, for example, if you are uh, if you're sitting the mainstream variant, and Tom, you've got this for yours, I've got it for mine, an int for the international variant, that's where there's a spare exam available. But if you're sitting anything else, like the Maltese variant or the UK variant, there isn't a spare exam. Uh, but that spare exam has limited capacity. Um, and there seems to be a priority order to it. It's sat online, so it's a remote invigilation exam. And the priority order is if you're someone who has had issues with remote invigilation, then you get priority. It was really for you. If you're sitting the mainstream variant, remote invigilation, there are tech issues, you can sit the exam one week later. What have you found with your students, Tom, providing, with in centre? Yeah, but providing, though, you've done the test. It's really, really important if you're doing the exam remotely that you do all of the you follow all of the instructions that the ACCA give you and you do that test. If you haven't done that test and there is a fault on the day, it will be assumed that the fault is at your end and you won't have the chance to resit the following week. Yeah, that's true. So I had a student whose battery ran out in the exam who was sitting remotely and um, they weren't allowed to sit the exam one week later because it was their fault. It wasn't anything to do with... Should have plugged it in. Should have plugged it in. Right, anyway. Um, but yeah, what have you found with your students who have sat in centre where they've had issues? Have they been able to sit the spare exam, Tom? No. Mm. I mean, there I've had are. some, sure. uh, but Long not answer. all. So it, it, the, the spare exam seems to be more of a, a, a positive towards sitting remote invigilation rather than in centre. Although we have heard cases of where some people have been able to sit it from centre. Um, so, so Ben, go let's, let's cut to the chase. Okay. What would you do? Me? Would you sit the exam, exam at home remotely or would you sit the exam in an exam centre and why? Okay. Well, so we did a poll, didn't we, on LinkedIn and we had around a thousand people voted on that poll. I'm with the one quarter, okay? Only about a quarter of people are with me who would want to do it remotely. Okay? I would go for the remote invigilation because I've got really good Wi-Fi at home. So my, my tech is reliable at home. I'm a good distance from an exam centre, so the travel factor is a big deal for me. And I know that my local exam centre, the reputation of it is not great. So for those reasons... I would be doing it remotely. What about you, Tom? Well, I'm with the majority. Um, I don't want the hassle of the setup. I don't want the stress around the IT. And my experience when I was a student is I did them in centre. And my local centre is a short journey away. Having said that, I would always get there really early to calm my nerves. And I wouldn't go to the exam centre. I'll go to a coffee shop around the corner just to chill myself and get myself in that in in that uh, in that right frame of mind. So I'm an exam centre yeah. guy. And actually, that point you've made about getting there early and being ready is valid for both in centre and remote invigilation. That if you're doing the remote version, you log in as early as you can, you get all your tech sorted, and then you chill. Rather than I've got five minutes to go, I need to log in, and then it becomes more stressful. Um, yeah. I think that's a wrap, Tom. We wanted to finish off by thanking everyone, though, didn't we? We did. So thank you very much for your uh, comments and voting, those of you who voted on the poll and, and made those comments. Always useful to have a conversation. Thank you very much indeed.